What's up guys? Ultimate 107 here. I just wanted to go down to a, a list that I've been meaning to do for a while, but I haven't really got around to doing, and that is the top five cult movies, in my opinion, of all time. As well as one honorable mention that didn't really make the cut, but I feel it needed to be mentioned. Now, what constitutes a cult movie in my mind is when they don't do very well in the theater, but when they come out on VHS and DVD, as most of these did, um, some of them actually probably just on VHS. <laughs> um, they um, they got really popular and yeah. people started appreciating them for the art that they were. Now, all right, well, let's get into it, all right? Uh, so number five on my list, number five. All right, first, first of all, the honorable mention. Now the honorable mention is Fight Club. It's a cult favorite. Everybody and their brother loves that movie. I mean, my parents don't really know about it that much. I mean, they've seen it. They they kind of understand the appeal, but they don't really have it. That movie has a um, ridiculous following, like, and the subject matter and all that stuff. And Jared Leto's in it. <laughs> Now, another, well, another honorable mention I'll give is The Lord of War. Now, The Lord of War is really good, but it has Nick Cage in it and not really, and he's not really known for his acting depth, but that's for another time. Um, all right, now, let's start into my list. Number five, The Boondock Saints. Now, this, this movie is just the perfect blend of violence and comedy and just overall quirkiness that I, I found amazing and the guy that plays Daryl is such a great actor and the the um, their sidekick was so funny I thought it was amazing just all the all the comedic elements mixed in with the gun gun slinging and all the random acts of chance and how God's almost on their side um, I thought it was just a phenomenal movie everyone should see that movie at least once it's just just to say you've seen it Number two, or number, wait, number four. <laughs> number four on my list is The Big Lebowski. Now, if you don't know what The Big Lebowski is, you've been living under a rock. The Big Lebowski is one of the most popular cult movies of all time. It's got Jeff Bridges, John Goodman, oh, what's the bony little guy's name. Oh, he's on Boardwalk Empire. Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Um, it's got Steve Buscemi. Just a whole bunch of good actors. It's got Philip Seymour Hoffman has a cameo. Uh, it's just, and it's about a girl that gets kidnapped by these guys and they all, they want their money. And it's just one big mess of comedy and fun that I think everyone should experience at least once. And any, all these movies on my list. People should experience them individually and just enjoy. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, I'm gushing a little bit. I really like these movies. Alright, number three. It's The Evil Dead. Now, if you haven't seen The Evil Dead, I mean, you can't really call yourself a patron of film if you haven't seen The Evil... Or, a, sorry. Excuse me. A patron of horror movies if you have never seen The Evil Dead. Um, now, I'm not a big horror movie guy, but The Evil Dead series is just amazing. Um, the Evil Dead, another spin-off of The Evil Dead is The Army of Darkness, which I thought... Now, albeit the comedy was a little more than the, uh, than the scariness of it, in Army of Darkness. It was just for more of entertainment value. But the Evil Dead movies, they were meant to be about possession and guts and gore. The first one got an NC-17, I think. Yeah, it got an NC-17 in the director's cut. And it's pretty bloody and kind of has a weird scene with a girl getting raped by a tree. Anyway, it's an amazing movie if you're into horror. So go see it, enjoy it, get scared by it. All that stuff. All right, number two on my list is Garden State. Now, 
if you like Scrubs, the uh, the quirky white guy in there. Oh my gosh. I can't. I'm blanking. I'm. It's late. I'm tired. It was Zach Braff. <laughs> the main character and the director of the movie is Zach Braff. Now, this was his debut, I think. Now, Garden State has a very dark and amazing tone. And it's just, the movie itself is centered around a guy who is very deeply depressed. Because when he was little, he pushed his mom down some stairs and made her, like, catatonic. And it really messed with his, well, his dad put him in a psychological, put him on a bunch of different drugs. And then he comes home for the funeral and just stops taking all the drugs. And he actually figures out that he might have not needed those drugs. And that his dad just gave them to him because he thought he was crazy for pushing his mom down the stairs when he was little. Which was an accident. But, <laughs> you'll have to watch the movie for yourself. It's got Zach Braff, he's the writer, he's the writer, director, and star. And it's got Natalie Portman and a couple of other semi-known guys. But, yeah, go see it. It's amazing. And the last one I got, <laughs> it's a good one. I like it. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And that is, it's number one, Snatch. Now this movie, it's about a diamond thief, or a diamond thievery. That's the first scene of the movie. So these, ra these guys dress up as rabbi, and they go in, and they rob this guy, and they got a diamond about this big that everybody's after in some kind of roundabout way. <laughs> and it's just, it's all intertwined and a bunch of different groups of people are after this diamond. And it's just, it's an amazing, awesome movie that everyone should see, in my opinion. It's the perfect, lots of these movies are a perfect mix of dark, dark humor and like straight up humor. <laughs> um, this one, this one also has an ensemble cast. Um, it's got a lot of famous British actors like Jason Statham. And the guy that plays Al Capone on Boardwalk Empire is one of the main characters. And also, oh, who else? Ah, Brad Pitt. He's a, uh, he's a gypsy boxer. Uh, it was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, those are my top five with some honorable mentions. Uh, hope you like this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Comment, leave your top five down below. I want to hear them. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.